Children's organizations remain outraged by the alleged conduct by some teachers at a high school in Botitong in the Northern Cape. Now this says two teachers at a high school in the area are fighting to save their jobs and avoid jail time after being accused of sexually assaulting girl pupils. A rural school of only 12 teachers now faces a possibility of losing three. The three teachers are embroiled in a sex scandal and are accused of allegedly having sexual relations with pupils. The trio has been placed on precautionary suspension. Pupils at the school claim that teachers could not contain their lust on them. We met at a tavern on Sunday. He kept staring at me and eventually called me. When I went to him, he asked whether I have a boyfriend and he told me he loves me and I accepted his proposal. The pupil further alleges that the teacher told her that he has been eyeing her even in the classroom. She was, however, not his first girlfriend and not his last. I started dating the teacher in February 2016. I was in grade 11. I was the second one at school to date him, and in November I left for school holidays, and when I came back in December, people told me that he is well known around the village and is dating other girls. One parent says she became worried when she found that a teacher was having an affair with her daughter. We were once called at the school. When I got there, they told us that the young girls are dating teachers. At that time, her name was not mentioned, but as soon as I heard that she was also dating the teachers, I told her to stop. 2015 statistics revealed that the teenage pregnancy rate in the district where this rural high school is based is the third highest in the country. In response, organizations such as Silabo Pelo took initiatives to offer sex education. We had actually spent the day with life orientation teachers of participating schools this year, teaching them on sexual and reproductive health and their role as educators. So when I walk, walked out and I heard the story, my heart just broke because I just couldn't believe it. People that we expect to be caretaking our children being the ones that are exploiting them. King Act in just one school, the Provincial Department of Education has now pinned its hope on a program that it launched earlier in the year. The department will lead an integrated collaboration program between the Department of Education, Health, Social Development and Love Life over the next two years. Targeting 10 schools in the district, we believe that this program will have the desired impact on all learners to prevent, abstain, and realize the responsibility to remain committed to their studies. Children's organization Childline in the Northern Cape says the Criminal Law Amendment Act is clear on sexual offenses. Children aged between 12 and 16 years cannot really give consent to sexual relationships with adults. It is quite clear and section 16 um, refers to the fact that um, if there is such a situation uh, then um, such adults or per alleged perpetrators um, should not um, and that's where we'll be relying on our law enforcement agencies. The two teachers facing sexual assault charges were released on bail last week. They will be back in court in October. Meanwhile, the department has vowed to punish teachers found guilty of having sexual relations with pupils. Neria Lakutsa, SABC News, Kimberley. Of course, that is our focus also this morning. I would like you to participate in that question, but it's over to Eben to take a look at the numbers that we currently have there, Eben. Yeah, we, we're running this poll, and, and you know, people are quite explicit on social media, I have to tell. Some say just castrate them with some of the tweets that are getting. We can't use those, but yeah, teachers who impregnate school pupils should be in prison, banned from teaching, or both. And the vast majority say that they should be put in prison and they should be banned from teaching for life. But we do have some tweets that we can use. It's a 
It's a very emotive su su uh, uh, su subject. La Casa says uh, they should be banned, jailed and castrated. Well, it's all three in, the, in a row there that you yeah. had earlier. Now, Gadani says they should be banned, imprisoned and added into the sexual predators list. That's another one that we discussed this morning. It yep. could be a possibility. Yeah, it is sexual predation in the end. And, and you know, in some instances of us, there's to taste the city. But, but these girls are not innocent. Mm. Surely as a teacher, your role in a school is to help young women to come to terms with the first sexual feeling. Who's those first sexual feelings? As the feelings? teacher, you have the moral authority to guide these youngsters, uh, and, and it's boys and girls for that matter. And yet, what do you do? You prey on them, and that should not be allowed. Of the city. I agree with uh, jail, jail, and, and you should go on the register, no doubt. But that's my personal view. For more on this now, well, we are joined by the uh, National Professional Teachers Organization of South Africa. NAPTOS's spokesperson, Mr. Basil Manuel, is in our uh, a Pretoria studio this morning. Mr. Manuel, very good morning to you. Good morning. Mr. Manuel, what is your reaction to increasing stories that we're seeing of, of not just school children being impregnated by teachers, but teachers having relationships and dating school children? Can you hear me, sir? I'm sorry. I'm, no, I'm sorry. I can't hear you. I, I, you, I lost you for a minute. Yeah, what's your... Um, what's I, I heard you asking about my first reaction. Yeah, what's your reaction um, to teachers having relationships? It's yeah. very clear. We're very clear on this. I'm not here today to try and defend teachers doing the wrong thing. I'm here to defend the thousands of teachers who are not doing the wrong thing, who are doing the correct things. These teachers knowingly break the law. They knowingly mislead children. They knowingly take advantage of the poverty conditions that many of these children find themselves in. So we have no sympathy. The only thing we are saying is that due process must happen and that they must be given a fair hearing, but also that we must not delay the processes because delaying the process creates the impression in the public mind that people are getting away with this. This is becoming far too common, and Naptoza could never support a view that says, blame the child. It is not the child. We know when we assume the role, the duty of a teacher, that we have a moral obligation to protect the child. And that is exactly what this is about. The failure to protect by a few teachers, and as a result, it is tainting the entire profession. Now, you talk about your members, and there are thousands and thousands and thousands of good teachers in South Africa. What are those good teachers saying about what is happening in the schools uh, when, they, when they hear about these stories, and it seems to be a problem that's not going away? I must tell you how absolutely angry hundreds of thousands of teachers are because they are being tainted by this. And the overwhelming majority of them side with those people that say, these folk need to be chased out of our schools. They need to be removed as teachers. They need to be jailed. Th their names must appear on the sexual offenses register because these are sexual offenses. And these are predators of the worst kind. When you listen to the stories in, in, the, in the Northern Cape, you see how these teachers have preyed on a number of children. Mm. So they have had no intention of looking after or, or having a relationship with a child, and which, which would be wrong in, in its own. However, what they try to do is to have sex with as many children as possible with no care about the consequences. And the poor parents now sit with the burden of an additional child to feed in the family. Teachers the good teachers out there are finding this seriously objectionable and are demanding that swift action be taken. Mr. Manuel, is it time for, for the likes of, of yourself in conjunction with government departments and so forth that, that there, there's thought given to a, a sexual offenders list amongst teachers? 
Of course, we have a sexual offences register with the South African Council of Educators. They manage the register, and uh, when once uh, a teacher has been struck off the roll because of, of uh, sexual offences, their name does go onto that register. However, it is accessing that register that seems to be difficult. Mm. It is knowing who is there that is so difficult. Uh, so it is there already. However, we need to take swift action when, as a community, we hear about a teacher doing misdeeds. Part of our problem is that we find these things out long after the perpetration has happened, instead of before great damage is done. And unfortunately, in the case of these children, they too now carry around with them the blame. And some of them carry around the children that have come from these unfortunate uh, incidences in the, in, the, in the Northern Cape. What's your advice to, to parents? Because, you know, parents, they put their trust in teachers. But when they see change of behavior and that mm. sort of thing, what's the route that parents should follow? And, and even... even school-going children, what should they do? Parents, protect your children. At the very first sign, report it to the appropriate authorities. The appropriate authority ought to be the principal, but some principals are involved. They are the police. They must stand up in protection of our children. Please do not accept uh, monies that are pushed under the table, so-called damages being paid. That simply perpetuates a problem and puts another child in danger. We've got to act to root out these few bad elements that are destroying the profession in its entirety. There are thousands and thousands of good people out there, thousands of colleagues of mine that want to see the right thing being done. So children, you also know that uh, when, when something wrong is happening. Speak up. So I'm not unhappy about video clips coming out, etc. I am actually celebrating that, saying at least people are now st beginning to stand up. Mm. But what I want to see is that before that happens, that parents, that teachers, that community members who know, and often they do know when somebody is doing the wrong thing, that they stand up and let the authorities know. We've got some tweets coming in, and one of, the, one of the, the women who's tweeting, her name is Maya, I just saw, and she says, oh, these girls, these girls are not innocent. They themselves are to blame for what happened. Surely you, we can't agree with that kind of sentiment. Absolutely not. It's, it, it's an ignorant view. Uh, forgetting that the teacher is the moral authority. The teacher is the power authority. So there is no equal relationship there. Over and above that, teachers know that having relationships with children is simply just wrong. And of course some of these girls may see this as a route out of poverty. They may see it as an opportunity to get a little money. But that, that is why we as teachers are there to put them on the right road. We mustn't forget the socio-economic conditions that many of these children find themselves in. And to be spoilt a little seems to be okay. However, unfortunately, if we as teachers don't stand up and show them that that cannot be okay, it cannot be a few cents to spoil your whole future, we are then equally guilty. And to our members and teachers in the schools who know when things are happening, you are guilty if you do not stand up and correct it. Because Naptoza is calling on its teachers, its thousands of members to say, do not condone by silence. You too must stand up and speak out against the wrongs that happen in schools. Mr. Manuel, thank you very much for joining us today on the Newsroom Show. Very considered and interesting views you have. Thank you. Always a pleasure. Yep, as Mr. Manuel pointed out, there are thousands and thousands and thousands of teachers every day who show up and do a great job teaching up. All percentage that engage in this kind of activity that makes it very difficult for both parents and teachers to come to terms with this issue.